I'm Eve Shepherd. Um, I'm one of the um, finalists for uh, the Emily Williamson statue. I wanted Emily to be in a stance where she looks strong and determined, yet gentle. She's releasing a bird. And that bird's really significant because that bird will be based on the form of a starling, but actually the things within it are all different breeds of birds because there was no one bird that I could choose because she didn't help just one bird. She helped all birds. The dress is not really a dress, it's almost like a shelter. She's protecting these birds and their habitat within her dress. So you'll see various birds like the Great Crested Grebe, which was endangered way back when uh, Emily was alive. And then you go around the back and you've got the albatross, which is, you know, critically endangered now. You'll see a couple of little titchy dioramas. Within the final piece, there'll be three or four, and they depict some of the, the feather workers and also Emily's kind of social work side of her life and it's all greeny and yellowy and it's all kind of been based on the colours here that we've got today and it also changes through the seasons and the texture it's kind of organic it's meant to look like it belongs here the, her dress and then as it grows up it becomes a little bit more smooth and more defined and that's when we get into more like the sort of more traditional emily and more traditional sculpture there's lots of details and those details all tell stories you know, it could be about birds that need to be helped, habitats that need to be preserved, the work that Emily did and Emily herself and, you know, and the other two co-founders. And when you view a piece, you might not understand all that. So the augmented reality can, can tell the story further. So, you know, you would, you would scan your phone over the piece and, you know, Emily might be talking to you or the bird in her hand, for example, could be flying off and, and then she could turn to talk to you. And it's, it's an additional layer where you can tell more about the story. If you vote for this piece, what you're voting for really is a, a double whammy. You've got the commemoration of an amazing woman and an incredible set of women, actually, but an amazing society as well. And also acknowledging the work that she did and the work that the RSPB do, our need for conservation and our need for understanding how important nature is. It's a great education tool for all, I think. Um, not just kids, but obviously it would hook potentially the younger generation in for the old, older generations too.